Welcome to the Roller Coaster Project. What we're going to do today is we're going to use our cubic mathematics, cubic polynomials, to create a section of a roller coaster. And, and it's going to be a cubic polynomial. And instead of, I'm just going to put up a cubic, the, the cubic mon, um, polynomial ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d equals um, 0. Instead of experimenting with different values for a, b, c, and d, we're going to select x intercepts or zeros and work backwards to create a cubic equation that follows these guidelines. These are going to be our guidelines. It, our roller coaster is going to start at at least 200 feet but no greater than 300. The duration is going to be four to six minutes, so it's actually kind of long because I just looked up one and you'll see one that's only a minute and 45 um, seconds. But ours is going to be a little bit longer, it's a little bit slower. And the track will go underground for 20 feet or less. And no drop can be greater than 80 degrees for safety. So this first video, what I'm going to do is show you the mathematics. And the second one, I'll show you how to do this in GeoGebra. But you need both videos to figure out how to do the mathematics. It's going to be really fun. Okay, so here's our roller coaster. This is a sample roller coaster, and it's the Blue Streak Roller Coaster Ride at Cedar Point and Music Par Amusement Park. And ours is going to have the same type of physics as this. And what I'm getting at is this. This one's 1 minute 45 seconds, but what it is is this is a wooden roller coaster, and it's still a favorite. And what it says here is very interesting is it's old school thrills of gravity driven speed, and and there's no engine. And so if I put this on, let me show you. Ah! It's really scary. This is it. This is a sample of what it looks like. You can hear the wood on that. And um, if I go over here, this is a website. How stuff works. It's kind of exciting. I'm just going to read a couple highlights about this. And it says that the purpose of the initial ascent, which is the very first ascent, which is higher than the other of, of the other peaks, is that it is just to build up a sort of reservoir of potential energy. And for this roller coaster, it goes between the two types of energy, potential and kinetic. Let's go watch it going up. So here it's going up, it goes to potential, and then when it goes down, it goes to kinetic. And it goes back and forth. And by going back and forth, it gives you the feeling in your stomach. It says it in here um, that gives you that feeling of roller coaster feeling. I can't describe it, but it's this acceleration, and, and um, it says the fluctuation and acceleration is what makes roller coaster so much fun. The thrill, the screaming, all that fun stuff that goes with this, okay? At the most basic level, this is all this is all a roller coaster is, a machine that uses gravity and inertia to send a train along a winding track. And there's various sensations that you feel. So you're welcome to go to this this website and find out more about roller coasters. We're going to talk about the mathematics. So a cubic equation is in the form of y is equal to a x cubed. And I don't know if somehow with the screen share my 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 mouse is shaking. bx squared plus cx plus d. So instead of guessing values of a, b, c, and d, we're going to be exact. That's what's so excellent about this project. Oh, let me erase that. I'm going to try to get to the pen, the um, line tool. So exact, and let's make sure we have our units here. This is going to be in seconds. So our x is time. And our y is going to be feet in height. Okay, so we'll put up feet. And our restriction said it's between 200 and 300 feet. So we're going to make our roller coaster start at 300. And it's going to go down a little tunnel and back up. This is just the section of a roller coaster. Now these are three times, time one, time two, time three. And we're going to use, these are the zeros. And this is why zeros are so important, because knowing the zeros, we can work backwards to find the appropriate cubic equation for to model our roller coaster. So I'm going to just pick three random times, and I'm just going to do 100 seconds, 200 seconds, and 300 seconds. And you're going to choose your own times, as long as the last time is no more than six minutes. So, um... Our initial height will have it at 200 feet. So let's go work at our equation, or backwards. So y is going to equal to some amplitude, and we'll talk about that amplitude soon. And then x minus t1, which is 100 seconds, x minus t2, which is going to be 200, times x minus t3, which is a third time. And notice that we have x multiplied three times, so it is cubic. Now, um, we don't know what this amplitude is, but we do. We can find it because we have a point. When x is 0, y is 200 feet. 
So let's work backwards. So 200 is equal to amplitude. Instead of x equaling 0, 0 minus 100 is negative 100. 0 minus 200 is negative 200. 0 minus 300 is negative 300. So our amplitude is going to equal to 200 divided by these three numbers multiplied together. Now 100 times 200 times 300 is going to be a negative number. Oops, sorry about that. So let's go multiply these out. So let's see, 100 times 200 times 300 is 6 with three, six, six and 6 zeros, so it's 6 million. Just kind of remember that 6 million. So it's going to be negative 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let's write our equation down. y is equal to negative 200 divided by, and I'm not going to reduce it because I'm going to use GeoGebra to do that for me, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. x minus 100, x minus 200, and I'm just going to squeeze it in down below, x minus 300. And so what our next video is going to do is we're going to show you how to graph this and go back to our restrictions and make sure our restrictions, let's see if we can find these restrictions here. I'm going to show how to graph it and show that this is actually going to fit this and, and cross at those times and make sure we follow this restriction. So thank you so much for watching and I look forward to talking to you. I'll be back soon for the next video. Thank you so much.